What is up, history hunters and truth seekers? Welcome back to the channel. And for all you new explorers out there, a huge welcome aboard. Hold on to your hats, myth enthusiasts, because today we're embarking on an epic journey to the land of the rising sun. Get ready to have your minds blown as we uncover the secrets of Izanagi and Izanami, the divine duo who shaped Japan itself. From a world of primordial chaos to the birth of countless gods and islands, this brother and sister pair have a story so wild, it'll make your head spin. We're talking forbidden love, a botched wedding ceremony, a terrifying trip to the underworld, and the ultimate act of creation. So grab your sake and get comfy, because you won't want to miss a single second of this mind-blowing tale that's sure to leave you craving more. Get ready to discover the origins of Japan, and the fascinating figures who brought it to life. All right, folks, buckle up because today we're time traveling back to Japan, but this isn't your ordinary history lesson. We're diving deep into the captivating tale of Izanagi and Izanami, the legendary brother and sister duo from Japanese mythology and the Shinto religion. These two aren't just any deities. They're the power couple credited with creating the Japanese islands and birthing a whole pantheon of Shinto gods known as Kami. Now their names might sound a bit unusual, Izanagi meaning he who invites, and Izanami meaning she who invites. But trust me, their story is anything but ordinary. Picture this, the world is a chaotic soup, a swirling mess of heaven and earth. Then, like a beacon of order, Izanagi and Izanami materialize, standing tall on a celestial bridge. The elder Kami, Witnessing their arrival, bestow upon them a monumental task to bring order to the world, and to aid them in this cosmic mission, they're handed a magical, jewel-encrusted spear called Amano Nuboko. Armed with this divine tool, they plunge the spear into the swirling oceans, and with each mighty stir, droplets fall back into the water, solidifying into islands. The very first island they create becomes their home sweet home, and it's on this island that their story takes a truly bizarre turn. Feeling the urge to start a family, they decide to tie the knot, but their wedding ceremony is far from conventional. It involves circling a sacred pillar in opposite directions while exchanging vows. But a major hiccup occurs when Izanami, eager as ever, speaks her vows before Izanagi. Back in those days, women taking the lead was a major taboo, and this misstep had some serious consequences. When Izanami gives birth, their first child is a horrifically deformed being with no bones, known as the Leech Child. Horrified, they abandon the child to the sea, setting him adrift in a boat. Unfazed by this setback, they seek counsel from the elder Kami and decide to give the whole marriage thing another go. This time, they follow the proper protocol, and Izanami gives birth to hundreds of Kami, along with the main islands of Japan. However, this divine baby-making marathon takes a heavy toll on Izanami, and after giving birth to the Kami of Fire, Kagutsuchi, she's severely burned and succumbs to her injuries. Overwhelmed by grief and rage, Izanagi embarks on a perilous journey to the underworld, Yomi, determined to bring his beloved wife back. But when he arrives, he's met with a devastating sight. Izanami has already consumed the food of the underworld, which binds her there permanently. She tells him she can return, but only if he can resist the urge to look at her until she's ready. Izanagi agrees, but his patience wears thin, and he can't help but sneak a peek. What he sees is a horrifying sight. His wife's body is decomposing. Izanami, enraged by his broken promise, unleashes the fury of the underworld upon him. He narrowly escapes, pursued by the terrifying Eight Thunders, and seals the entrance to Yomi with a massive boulder. Seeking purification from the darkness he encountered, Izanagi performs a cleansing ritual in a nearby river. As he washes away the impurities, numerous Shinto gods are born from the droplets that fall from his body. Now, Izanagi and Izanami's tale isn't just some ancient bedtime story. It's a cornerstone of Japanese mythology and Shinto belief a grand narrative of creation, love, loss, and the birth of a divine pantheon. Their story is a testament to the enduring power of myth and the deep connection between humans and the natural world. 
So, there you have it, the captivating saga of Izanagi and Izanami. But remember, this is just one version of their tale, passed down through generations. If you've heard different variations or have any other intriguing stories to share, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you loved learning about ancient history in this video, be sure to click the video up top to check out my other content on fascinating historical topics from the past. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all my latest uploads. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.